Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and welcome back to the shell scripting series or the course. And apologies for not uploading in this series and uploading in general. I've been working on, uh, you know, improving everything from uh, the website to the forum. A lot of you are complaining that your questions were not being posted. So uh, I've sorted all of that out and it should all be good to go. Uh, now I hope to complete this series and also the web application penetration testing series. So those are the two series that are currently underway. After them, uh, we can then move on to the exploit development and uh, the CTF series will be continuing on a weekly basis as well. That being said, in this video, we're gonna be looking at functions in shell scripting. And again, part of one of the most important sections of this whole uh, of this whole series and in programming in general. All right, so you might be asking yourself, well, what exactly is a function? Well, a function is simply a piece of code or a section of code that performs a specific task. All right, now again, you might be saying, well, why do we even use functions? Well, we use functions to help reduce repetition. And uh, when I say this, what I mean is uh, you can use a function uh, and you, you can use it as many times as you want. Now, the great thing about functions is that they can perform a specific task and you can use that function to call on that specific task at any time or at any position in the, uh, in the program itself. All right. And we also use um, functions to sort out our code and to sort of uh, maintain our code in the sense that uh, you can have a piece of code that, for example, prints out uh, specific data. You might want to sort that data out in a function so that it is easy for you to debug and troubleshoot in case the program has a few errors. All right, so it helps you maintain code. Now the workflow or the process of a function is very simple in terms of how it's executed. Uh, the code is, uh, you, you essentially call, you declare a function, uh, and then you simply, you, you, after declaring the function, you start typing in your commands, uh, whatever you want to run, whatever, uh, you know, functions you want the, uh, what, whatever tasks you want the function to complete. And after that, you declare the function. Uh, and you, you call on, you call the function and finally, uh, the function runs and then, and then it returns a return code or an exit status. And I'll explain all of this, uh, in a few seconds. Now in shell scripting, there are two ways one can go about creating a function. All right. The first way is a really very simple. And the second one is extremely simple. And it all comes down to how, uh, how you want your functions to look and what coding, uh, practice you, you, you carry forward. All right, so let's get started. So uh, let's say I wanted to create a simple script that would test the directories to test uh, if certain directories exist. For example, the I wanted to test if the shadow file exists and the password file exists on um, uh, on Kali Linux on my current working um, working environment. So to do this, it's really very simple. All we need to do is we need to just uh, uh, we you know, make sure you've declared your interpreter here using the shebang and we can get started. So the first way of declaring a function uh, is very, very simple. And that is simply by typing in the word function. Quite simple, right? Uh, the syntax after this proclaims that you use the function name. All right. So in here you can uh, create, uh, you can give your function a name and then you open two parentheses and your curly braces. In these curly braces is where all the code that you want to, to be run in this function will be put. All right. So that is how to create that. That is the first way of creating a function. Now in here is where you would put all your code, right? So let me just mark that. So you guys understand what's going on. The second way of calling a function is uh, very, very similar, but in this case, you do not declare the word function. All you do is you type in a function. Uh, we can say function, maybe function one, and you specify the parentheses again and your curly braces like so. All right. Now, again, it's very, the, the syntax remains the same for everything else. Uh, now, uh, when I, when it came to me doing research about this and which one was the best way of doing it, uh, it really doesn't matter which one you choose. It all depends on how you want your code to look and how easy it is for you to interpret or go, or go through it in case you ever need to. So it's more of a sorting, uh, it's more of your own personal preference here. Okay, so I usually like having the function declaration because it helps me understand what exactly is going on here. That's just personal for me. So uh, when, when, when it comes down to creating a function and a working function, as I said, you have your code 
And then after the code, uh, you need to call upon the function, which means you want to use that function. Because if you do not, if you do not call on the function, the function will not be executed and any of the code within it will not be executed. All right. So that is the rule. So functions have to be declared before they can be called. All right. So, uh, remember the two rules is you need to call on a function to use it and the declaration of the function has to be before it's called. Now, how do I call upon a function? Well, if I wanted to call upon this function, I would simply get out of the function and type in function uh, name. All right. Without the, uh, without the parentheses. And that essentially would mean that uh, this function right here would be executed when this program is run. Okay. But the incorrect way of doing it is going to the beginning before the function is declared and typing in a uh, function name. All right. So function name, that would be wrong. This program would not execute because, uh, the, uh, the interpreter is going to look at this. It's going to, uh, essentially understand that this is a function, but remember the function has not been declared before it. So it's going to go to the next line and it will not, uh, essentially call upon that function because, uh, it is interpreted in a, a batch type, um, manner. Okay. So we are going to be creating a very, very simple script that will again, test uh, for different files, whether the different files exist. In this case, we're testing if the shadow and the password file exists. So we're, we're going to be using some test uh, functions here uh, with some conditional statements. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, start off by creating our first function. So I'm going to say function um, test and we'll call this shadow test shadow. I'm not going to put anything in the parentheses. That's something we'll be taking a look at in the next set of videos when we talk about uh, positional parameters. Uh, so in here, uh, I want to test if a certain, uh, if a certain file exists. So I can say if, uh, we are testing if the shadow file exists, right? So, uh, if shadow, uh, so the directory is Etsy shadow. Um, if shadow exists, then, oops, sorry. If shadow exists, we then want to say, uh, then, uh, and we say we want to print out, uh, uh, yes, it, uh, it exists. You can also, uh, by the way, for those of you asking me if you want, if you can list the files, yes, you can, you can also grep the files if you want to. So you can, uh, for example, uh, you can list all the files in that directory as a command, and then, uh, you can also grep for a certain uh, user if that's what you want, like the root user, so that it only displays that if the file exists. But I don't want to complicate the program. So again, echo, yes, um, we can just say it it exists. All right, uh, exists like so. Sorry about that. And finally, to end the, uh, wait, actually, uh, if the file doesn't exist, then that means uh, we, we also need a statement for that. So the file, uh, uh, the file does, does not exist and uh, we leave that like that and then finally we end this if statement by typing in fi to close it and that is one function all right so if i wanted to call this function what will happen is i need to test uh, outside the function i need to call on the function so i would say test uh, shadow all right the name of the function now if i don't do this something interesting is going to happen this this uh, this function right here and this code within it will not be executed. Now I can show you that right now. So I'm going to just save the file as it is and I'm going to exit and I'm going to launch uh, that shell file called functions dot uh, dot shell and I've already given it execute permissions. I type in enter and nothing is displayed because that function and any code within that function was not executed. So again, if I want to call from that function, I need to display it outside. So I will type in um, the name of the function. So I'll say test, uh, test shadow like so. And I, once uh, I hit exit here, now let me launch the functions dot shell file again. And voila, you can see that, uh, the file exists and I made a spelling mistake there. Let me just uh, correct that really, really quickly. Uh, and now we'll add the second function as well. Uh, the one that will test for the password file. So, uh, exists, uh, like so. All right. So now I'll, uh, let us exit out of that function and we can create another function. So I'm going to create, uh, let's see, function uh, test password, right? And we're going to be testing that file, whether that file exists. And uh, yeah, within, within this, again, the same if statement can be run. So let me just copy that. 
sorry about that. Let me just copy this uh, like so. And for some reason that did not copy. But anyway, uh, I think I have, uh, I, uh, yeah, I did not enable Emacs there. Sorry. Uh, let me just go back up here and like so. All right. So let me just get rid of that. And we are testing for the password file now. So like so, so password and again that will do the same thing but again this function will not exist or will not be called or executed unless i call upon it so just below this i'll also call this function so i'll say password like so now the the other interesting thing is that you can also call a function uh you can also call another function within one function now how can this be done or you might be saying well what exactly do you mean well uh, let me save this first and let me execute and show you that indeed does work. So you can see for the first one, it says it exists. And for the second one, so both the the uh, shadow and the password file exists. Not something new that we've talked about. Now, uh, we can also call functions within one function. So let's say at the end of the test shadow function, I wanted to execute the test password function, right? Well, to do that, all I would have to do is I would have to just type in after that a conditional statement test password all right now let me get rid of the the call here which uh, essentially would um, which again will uh, will essentially call the, the function for us which we don't want to do because I want to demonstrate uh, that that does work indeed so there we are so I called the functions again without calling the functions outside the functions and I called uh, the test uh, the test password function within the test shadow function. And as you can see, it, uh, it, uh, it was able to execute. So that is how to also call functions within another function. So if you just take a look at what we did, uh, within the first function, uh, we executed all this code. And then after that, we prompted uh, it to execute the test password function. And that's done. And that is because after the interpreter has executed the test shadow function, it then executes every piece of code within that function and within this code it's telling the interpreter okay i want you to also execute the test password function so you can see the versatility of functions and how uh, and how useful they can be all right so that is going to be it for this video guys uh, i really just wanted to cover all the basics uh, of functions and how to use them and now since we know all the basics we can now move on to creating really awesome scripts so with that being said i'll be seeing you in the next video peace Thank you.